you have nothing but bonus points to be made by saying yes. I have two actually. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing as it really does cement that people like the content and that they're finding it useful. I'm going to go into a fair amount of detail today on how to start turning your mind towards your speeches, how to choose them. Fairly important for auditions. But which one? How many? Modern? Shakespearean? Characters my own age? What does Shakespeare's contemporaries even mean? It is daunting, yes, but I hope to clarify in this video any confusion or anxiety that you may be going through. Quick side note, I would say go and get yourself one of these, one of Shakespeare's full works. Some can be quite expensive, but I think I picked up this one for around seven pounds in a second-hand market, but again, some online shops may do cheaper versions. It's a really good tool for you to have as you can access every single play that he's written, and usually they come with all of his sonnets as well. Some of the drama schools in the later rounds of auditions may get you reading sonnets just to see your general command of um, blank verse. So it's good to have one of these to practice with. Now that's out the way, how many speeches should you learn? Five, end video. Uh, let's pad that out a bit more. Well, at least five, three classical and two modern. Five speeches is a really good starting point. Many schools ask for two classical speeches, one as your main and one as a backup. An audition panel may notice that one particular speech isn't really quite working for you and may ask, do you have anything else prepared? You have nothing but bonus points to be made by saying, yes, I have two actually. But it also gets you reading plays. There is so much to be gained from reading plays. You may discover your love for styles, nuances, and character. It forms a particularly good talking point for when you move on to your interview stage of your audition. You can tell them about plays you like or don't like, and most importantly, why you chose your speeches. They will ask. So if you can say, oh, I chose this speech because I much preferred it to this speech, you already have a talking point, and you are showing that you have actually read more than just this one play. Ah, that's another point. Please read the whole play. If you don't know what you are saying in the speech, in the context of the whole play, it will show in your performance, and the panel, they're gonna see right through you. Now, always Shakespearean for the classical speeches? Well, no, not necessarily. Unless a drama school has set a specific set list for their audition requirements, go off the beaten track a little bit and explore some of his contemporaries, those writing plays at the same time as him. Marlowe, Webster, Lope de Vega. As long as you draw on classical material to demonstrate your command of blank verse, de-dum, 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 you will be on the right tracks. I will list some of Shakespeare's contemporaries for you in the description below, but remember, Oh, warning, teacher mode. It is you who needs to read and search for these speeches. I, nor anyone else, can do that for you. As for the age of the character, do aim for someone near your own age. You will stick out like a sore throat if you're 18 and you're presenting your finest King Lear. I would say there's more flexibility with classical characters. You could almost create three basic age brackets to help you filter your choices youthful, middle-aged, and old. Crude, yes, but it'll hopefully get you in the right ballpark. Ages in your modern speeches really should reflect your actual age. Why? There are so many, so many modern plays catering for all ages. Because there are so many, there is less excuse to be picking speeches that aren't close to your actual age. Read, read a lot and see what you like. Have a look at plays performed at the Royal Court or the Donmar Warehouse. Theatres that put on groundbreaking new plays by very contemporary writers. Writers that focus on current issues, things that you can really connect to. Again, I will list some modern writers in the description below to start you on your way. Do let me know in the comments below how you get on with choosing your speeches and what you choose, why you like them, why you don't like them. Soon enough, I will do a video on how to start working on your classical speeches. I'm very aware that the language in classical speeches can be very bewildering and challenging. How do I even begin? Bit by bit, my friends, bit by bit. Once again, Happy New Year. Set and achieve those objectives and remember, have fun, everyone. It's a play, darling. My name is Kai, but you can call me Caius.